I gotta be honest, the black right here, we could have definitely knocked out. It looks great. I love it. It's well leveled. It looks nice. Definitely feels like a premium tee. It looks absolutely fantastic on the back and side. What's up, superstars? On today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys how easy it is to create a motorcycle club shirt. It can be tricky with all the skulls and grunge effects. Plus, you mostly see black shirts with white prints because it could be pricey to print multicolor shirts with screen printing. So in this tutorial, we'll show you guys how easy it is to use Kittle's beginner-friendly templates. It could be a breeze that you can knock out in a few minutes. These shirts are tough to design from scratch because there's so many elements, as well as you have to vectorize it. With Kittle, it's super easy to customize one of their already out-of-the-box designs. So let's dive right in and how to properly export the image, as well as also get this printed with DTF. Make sure to follow along closely. You also need to have the pro version in order to export without having any background. So if you need to sign up link, check the description below. Let's jump right in. All right, so we're on Kittle right now. Let's take a look. We're just gonna really just look at their templates and see what we can mess with. Right now, I'm thinking just putting Harley Biker. Let's see what we come up with. I'm loving it already, but I'm seeing a similar vibe going on, everything with the bikes, which is fine. But I want something to stand out more from this. I, 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 I like that. Oh, I like this one too. Wow. You know what we're going to do? We are going to save this one for a rainy day. And uh, we are going to do this one right now. Only because of the fact that we, we want to kind of nail this type of look on DTF. This is nice. All right. So what we're going to do here, we're just going to change up a little, nothing crazy. I would say we want to keep the motorcycle, motorcycles. Let's see what we can change. Let's take out California and let's just keep this Los Angeles, but like make this bigger. Okay. the spacing let's cancel one spacing out let's see how that turns let's cancel another spacing out i just looked off on that sense this is all trial and error guys okay i don't understand that so we don't have any more spacing all right you know what i like it <laughs> we're gonna do establish 2024 and we're gonna do custom motors as california it looks good. I'm gonna first check if there's any type of grunge effect, only because sometimes, yep. They will that also take away from that. If I do that, yeah. Well, what we can do is first take the background off. See how much of this grunge effect is affecting. Is it really? Is it anything else? Looks like it's a white grunge effect. It doesn't look like it's affecting anything else but the content. So I don't know if this is going to affect. We're gonna see how this one turns out, guys. Because we want that grunge effect to kind of mimic this old style pattern. But we don't know if this is gonna come out the way I think it's gonna come out. But you know, it's all about trial and error. So let's try it out. Oh, you know what? Maybe it's around each side. No, 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 no. Those are the, those are the stems. I'm really trying to see each side and see everything. It does say it's the background. And usually when it's a background, alpha mask. Hmm. You know what, we're gonna download it and we're gonna see how it goes. Cause we don't see a grunge effect on anything else. But this is also black, so I can, when we see it, this background off. 
is it grunge? More of a deletion? Just trying to understand here. Oh, it is. I see through here a little transparency. Huh, and if I make the opacity very interesting. I like that. Let's download this. We're going to put this for 15 feet. I'm going to go to inches, 15, 300 DPI. We're going to remove background and optimize quality. This is going to download as a PNG as well. Right, after we got that download, we are not done yet. So let's put our background on and we're going to get ourselves a neck tag. Let's first make sure we get and we need hold on real quick all right so what we're gonna do here is just gonna replicate this we're gonna duplicate this page so we have something else to mess with all right, so we're gonna just do the first one we're gonna do the neck tag let's take out this and then we're gonna just add a headline let's do a real fat face and then we want to do white and then we're gonna make sure that this is let's do 300 that's good yeah that, that's very large all right pretty nice yeah that's pretty good should be like a middle point right there's Oh, well, you know what? That's not middle, though. Right there. Okay. You know what? That looks good. Let's download it. Again, we're going to go 15 inches. Oh, well, we got to do inches. 15 inches and 300 DPI. And it's removed background and optimized quality. And let's download this. It's actually pretty cool graphic i did not know that it has a grunge effect that actually does an erase effect because that actually you could see through it i was trying to understand it and that's pretty cool so let's go to the next we're going to do just the front we have our back logo we took out the middle let's keep the middle let's keep the middle take off this stuff and then let's just keep that good i think that's perfect i don't think i need to change anymore I go into inches 300 dpi and it's going to be 15. background optimized quality and a download i should be pretty excited <laughs> we are also going to do a side sleeve of this so we could change, we could change, that's the beauty of this. We could change the size of it, making it a whole different thing. So let's get to the gang sheet builder. All right, let's go to our gang sheet builder. It's gonna be very simple. We're just gonna go open up Google. Transfer Superstar is already right there. We're just gonna go to Transfer Superstar and our, to our website. And then we're gonna go to Online Gang Sheet Builder. We're gonna do DTF Online Gang Sheet Builder, build your own DTF Gang Sheet, and then we're gonna do start a brand new Gang Sheet. We're gonna bring up the size. I'm assuming this is gonna be a pretty big piece, so I'm just gonna bump up the size, just one. And then it's gonna be all these three. And then we're just gonna add one more to spot to it. So the first one we're gonna work on is this one we are going to put it up to 13 inches i don't know if you could tell but from kittle we did put it at 15 inches it looked like it did drop it around almost 30 inches down so if you do look after that definitely go up from it even more so if you need to but all right we're gonna take a, a good adjust it's still good resolution not bad um so we're gonna take a look more onto it let's just make this fit for right now and then we're just gonna get our corner pockets we're gonna make this three inches we're gonna put it right here and see if we can duplicate that awesome then we're gonna duplicate it one more time and we can't forget 
It's gonna be our arm sleeve. We're gonna leave that one inch. And then we're gonna duplicate this. And then we're going to duplicate that. All right. Then we can't forget to have our neck tag. We're gonna make this 1.5. And we're just gonna put it over here. What happened, we definitely didn't put it well lined up. Let's do it again. Awesome. And we will do it. All right. Looks good. And another good visual aid, just so you can make sure everything's coming out right. Uh, again, with that smudge effect, it was very hard to tell if it was just an effect or if it was erasing it. And if you could tell, even from the gray aspect, it's changing the word words. This is going to be coming out as a nice graphic. Uh, I'm really excited for this, actually. So, yeah, let's take a closer look. So let's get this printed. All right, we got our game sheet. Let's take a closer look at it. So first looking at it, the big piece is magnificent. It looks great, it came out great, and honestly, I'm very impressed on Kittle and how this came out. You can also tell it is also transparent, that transparent grudge looks great, came out great, but I gotta tell you, I, I am seeing the littlest of details start to come off on the smaller prints so i think another tool we're going to use in another video is to vectorize the tool i want to make sure that we can sharpen this as much as we possibly can for smaller prints like this because even these neck tags and i also now noticing too as well I did not take the black circle off when creating this neck tag when we could easily take that out making it better for the neck tag of our black shirt but you know you live and you learn we definitely going to learn from this and see how this turns out for the vectorized print but all in all I think this is gonna come out really good. All right, let's check out the shirt. For our blank, we have our black Bella Canvas extra large t-shirt. The model number is 3001. If you guys are interested, we'll put a link in the description below. Let's cut our back piece out. Let's straighten these edges out. We have our Heatmaster Prisma. It has a laser guided system to follow with it. It is at the three and a half mark. If you could tell, it is a little bit more raised. We do have a ruler to kind of give you a little bit better of a look. With the Heatmaster Prisma, you could also thread shirts, making it very, very easy for you to align them and not have to worry about anything on the other side of the shirt. We're gonna just align this now, but before this, we're just gonna make a little good crease so we make sure we know which one is the midpoint. We are not going to peel this right away. We do want to kind of do in a whole surprise thing, but what we are going to do is actually flip this around into doing our front piece. All right, so we're just going to grab one of these. not going to use our laser guided system and show you a method where we can do is use 
a ruler from the neckline as long as you're properly aligning it from the four inch mark I'm gonna hold it right here I like to go from right here right here is where I will put it and I just need a good midpoint and we'll just put some heat resistant tape on it For this one, we're gonna bring it up close and tear off this neck tag they have already. And we're gonna use that as a midpoint. First, let's cut it out. With a cloth, we're just going to be swiping just so we can make sure we have everything adhere since it's a very small print. The next one we are going to do is the right arm. What we are going to use is a heat press pillow to make sure that this gets adhered properly. All right, let's cut a piece out. Let's put some heat press tape on. Last, what we're gonna do is actually something that is something new for even us, but we're just gonna like hell, we're just gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Okay, so looking at our options, I am going to choose something more of a word. So let's do let's do American California. All right, let's get this on. Now we're gonna do the neck tag.
so starting off we're gonna take a look at the back it looks great i love it i gotta be honest the black right here we could have definitely knocked out if i noticed that i would have taken it out a lot sooner definitely but you know all in all everything looks really really good it looks absolutely fantastic on the back and side it does look like a full-on motorcycle game shirt so starting off we got the full front piece it's the corner pocket it looks good it really does it's well leveled it looks nice and we got up in front our neck tag it looks nice it can it can be better i think if we knock that black out it could have definitely came out a lot better but it looks good and then we do have our arm piece that came out really good actually that uh, definitely came out really really good that's not how small it is too as well and the last piece this came out really good it definitely customized the whole shirt all together so let's get it on and let's see how it goes all right the fit is clean definitely feels like a premium tee there you guys have it that's how you guys do a motorcycle club shirt with kittle using dtf we hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want more videos like this, please like and subscribe and leave a comment and share. Thank you guys again. We hope to see you soon.